Well, it is a big day for dozens of people who live at the Rochester Towers condo complex downtown. The city is allowing some of the people who live there to move back in more than a month after they were forced out. ABC 6 News reporter Jordan Sansom has been following this story since day one. He joins us now live with the update. Jordan. James and Robin, the city is granting partial occupancy of the Rochester Towers. This comes at the request of the condo's management property management company, First Service Residential, and an engineer's report on the work that's been done since the evacuation on June 2nd. It was the day people living at the Rochester Towers condominiums have been waiting for more than a month now. I, I had no problem moving back in. I moved in, I, I, the building opened at 3, I was here about 310. Tim Maines and his mom both have condos in the building. They're relieved to be able to return to their homes after being forced out back on June 2nd. Fears the building could collapse prompted the city to evacuate all of the nearly 100 units. Maine says it's been a difficult month filled with uncertainty. And nobody has seen a building get lose their certificate of occupancy. And if that in that case, I think I think we just wanted to know more. They had a meeting uh, here in town and many people had to leave town because they didn't have another place to stay. Crews have been working to fix the structure's stability ever since. Now in a memo ABC6 obtained from the city of the Towers Management Company, the city said based on the engineer's report it had reviewed, the structure is safe for partial occupancy. People living in all but nine units are now being allowed back, but Maine says everyone is still waiting for one big question to be answered. They're doing a study to figure out the costs of moving forward and, act, and doing the final repairs to the building. And uh, that, that's, of course, on weighing on everybody's mind at this point. The work done so far is considered temporary and permanent repairs are still needed. And it's unclear on how long before everyone will get to move back in. We were directed by the city to contact the law firm representing the condos for answers. We reached out, but so far haven't heard back. Law, live in Rochester, Jordan Sansom, ABC 6 News.